Yeah, but how do I see my comments? Starting. How do I get this to go side by side? Oh no. Are we live? Oh no, I don't know what I'm doing. This was a dangerous decision. Oh wait, there it is. Oh. Am I live? It says I'm live. All right, well, hello. <laughs> I guess I should start talking because um, you guys are going to be watching this and there's not going to be anybody here. Oh, except I'm watching myself delayed. That's odd. Can we not see that part? I just want to see the chat. Um, okay. Well, I. you think you missed it. No, we're live right now. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get started because um, this is going to be a weird introduction. I haven't done a live um, feed in, oh my goodness, like a year and a half. And so I just had this random idea. I'm live right now. Um, I just had this random idea to get ready with you guys on my channel. I've been doing this on Instagram live. I don't even know where to look. I think I'm supposed to look right there. Um, I've been doing this. Hello from Toronto. I've been doing this live on Instagram. Um I don't know, like three, four times now, and I decided, well, let's do this on my channel so that there's more people that have the opportunity to watch. Um, is the sound good? I hope so. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't done this in a while, so this is like trial and run, and this might be a complete train wreck and a really long video, and I don't know what's going to happen. Honestly, this might be hilarious. This might be terrible. We don't know. So we're just going to get started. Um, good morning, Valerie. So if you're just joining, say where you're from, because I always like to know. Um, everyone and I get ready with you, so it's cool to do it live today. Yeah, it is cool. Um, we're just going to go hang out and go to a pool and a Memorial Day, just kind of get together. So I want to do bronze. I put on some self-tanner. I want to do a summery, bronzy, glowy skin look today. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not sure about the setup here. And my, see, I, when I look at my screen, all I see is me lagging, like, time, five, ten second delay here, so this is a little weird, but I want to be able to see the comments. Maybe I can move this so I don't have to see my face. That would be better. Okay, Pennsylvania. All right, so I'm going to start off by priming my face. I've been using this uh, Scandinavia Prep Spray. It makes your face a little tacky, which that's fine, and I just do it on the outskirts of my face because if I do it in the center, I find that I get a little bit dewy. And then I'm going to use my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Hello! From Ireland, you want me closer? I'm literally a foot away from the screen. I cannot get any closer than this. I I guess I could maybe scoot this a little closer. But I'm I'm literally on top of my laptop, so that's all we can do. Um hi in New Jersey! Okay, I want to make it so I do not have to see myself lagging. This is not cool. Alright. So what I want to do is a bronzy look. So I'm going to start off with the hourglass primer here. And I like to put this on my pores no matter what. This is the only primer I'm really using right now is these two. But even if I had something else, I really like how this hourglass fills in my pores. My skin is glowing. Thank you. I actually just got out of the shower and did my skincare. And I have a new product I've been using and I freaking love it. And I'm going to do a whole video on it. I'm going to film that next weekend and I'll get it up for you next week sometime. And it's affordable and it's, it's phenomenal. I'm just absolutely blown away by it, quite honestly. Okay. So prime. Now a little bit of a do you guys remember when I did that video on like my favorite foundation combinations? Well, anyways, I have a combination I've been loving. And so that's what I'm going to do today. It is going to be a combination of the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and this foundation. I love this foundation. Um, I was kind of looking online to see if this is still available, and it is on overstock.com. And when I'm done filming this, I did write in the description box everything I'm going to be using, but I'll put links in for you guys when I'm done. I just wanted to film this or do this first, and then I'll go back and do that after. But um, this is the Dolce & Gabbana Perfect Reveal Lift Foundation with Sunscreen um, 25 SPF. And the finish on this is like, oh my gosh, it's just absolutely stunning. You'll see. So I'm going to do a... A pump of this 
And I'm also in the shade light beige right now with that. And this is the shade bronze. Maylin's mask on. Boys with their Father's Day. First day for me. Yay! On um, the Maylin's mask is awesome. And then I'm gonna do a pump of this. How many? We have 18 people here. Oh, that's exciting. See on Instagram. <clears throat> excuse me. You know, I have less followers than on YouTube here. And some people, they might not have Instagram, so you might miss out on those. And it's hard, too, because, of course, the time change and life and whatever. But I figured Sunday morning, there's probably quite a few people just chilling, or maybe they're getting ready to have people over or whatever. So I thought this would be kind of fun. And the last time I did one of these was uh, Super Bowl last year. I did a live Get Ready With Me. Okay. And I'm going to, well, I don't want to blend it in with my beauty blender, actually. I'm going to use... What have I been using this brush? The Sephora Pro 56. So, do you guys have any Memorial Day plans today? Like I said, we're going to go and get, um, bring the kids over to my friend's house and have some food. I'm actually going to take this onto my eyes too. And do a little pool time for them, not me. <laughs> and food and just kind of hang out. Chai is life. Being Jewish, this is amazing. I like chai. Oh, you work retail. Well, there's a lot of sales going on right now. I know I've been getting a lot of notifications of things. I was really debating just before I started doing this, um, buying that Jouer Skinny Dip palette because of all the metallic lid shades. That's totally my thing. I haven't pulled the trigger yet, but I just might do that. Canada last weekend was Victoria Day. Is that, I guess I'm not aware of the holidays in Canada. So I like the combination of this because the Too Faced gives you a really full coverage effect. Um, well, full coverage. But the Dolce & Gabbana leaves your skin dewy and just glorious. So, then I'm going to go in and just, it's like Memorial Day, okay. Just going to take that dampened beauty blender, and I like to go back over my foundation, and I feel like it just really smushes everything in, and it doesn't, like, sit on top and look too makeup -y. really meld it to your skin kind of thing. You could also take a little bit of, um, like, a Fix Plus or just, a, like, a Caudalie water or the Evian spray or anything like that, and you know, spritz your beauty blender with that if you wanted even more of a dewy look. All right. Then I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape. I have a cat hair on my face. Oh my gosh. I was just watching Tara Baby's one of her older videos and she was saying how she uses a spoolie to get cat hair off of her face. She's like, "Can you, do you feel me? I'm like, yeah, I feel ya. Elsa's always everywhere. She's on my clothes, she's in, you know, in all my stuff. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this, that's enough. This stuff is super full coverage and a little goes a long way. I have the shade light. And then whenever I have a little bit left on my um, under eye area here, I'll just, you know, bring it up onto my eye and kind of use this as my eye primer. Lately, I've been taking both foundation and concealer up onto my eye. Because it's, you know, you already have it. You might as well just, it's already right there. Just keep going with it, you know what I mean? I'm going to do that. And then I like to just take whatever's left and put it right here. And a little down my nose edge of my nose just kind of the center of my face like not purposely put product there but whatever's left it just kind of drags it that direction and just gives you a little bit more coverage now I'm gonna set that real fast because that will crease and I've been using the Mac emphasize powder looks like this to set my under eyes I had neglected this for a really long time because it was in my blush palette which is not a great location to store it if you want to actually use it so now 
I store this with my concealer and I use the airbrush from Wayne Goss to do my setting and I just tap it so I don't disturb the product and move it around. So is the sound and how everything looks okay? It's kind of hard to test a live stream unless you just put up a video of nothing, you know? And it's been so long since I've done this, I wasn't really sure what I was doing. Hello! How would you compare the shape, to, shape tape to the Bye Bye Under Eye? The shape tape is a thinner consistency. The Bye Bye Under Eye is really tacky and really thick. And I struggled with that because that was a cake situation real fast. You have to use such a small amount and make sure you blend it out really thin. I prefer the shape tape. They both give a lot of coverage. If you have drier under eyes, you might like the bye-bye better because of the formulation. All right, now I'm going to bronze with a cream bronzer here after I get, what is there, a hair here? Oh boy. I'm gonna use the Chanel Soleil Tande Chanel. I wanna do like cream products first and then I'm gonna set my whole face, but. Have I seen the new ABH eyeshadow palette leak? Looks beautiful. Mario and Modern Renaissance definitely will sell out. Um, I don't know if I've seen it. I might have. I can't remember. There's so many things coming out right now. I'm just trying to keep up, you know? Oh, good. Sound and video are great. Hey, girl. Hi. Is it Ansley? 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 Good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice is... <clears throat> this past week I've been sick, and so I'm... Still, I don't know. My voice is just kind of weird, so hopefully it doesn't cut out. You'll notice that. I, I filmed a lot this week because my husband had some time. He could finally take off. <laughs> Since we moved here, he's just been gone or working. And so I took advantage, and I got a lot of videos filmed. But, unfortunately, I was kind of sick. But, whatever. You gotta roll with it, you know? So I'm just gonna do a little bronzing with this Chanel. It's a cream product, but it really dries... Um, to a powder it doesn't even feel like a tacky cream like I don't like super tacky emollient thick cream products no I prefer stuff like this they're um actually I don't know if they sell them anymore but they're cream blushes these Chanel's cream blushes are the same formula as their uh, tanner or their this so it is like a cream to powder situation so let me just finish bronzing here. I always bronze my neck. It's just because my neck right here is always lighter than my face and my chest because of how the sun hits it. So, um, okay. Finish doing this. one more cream product because if you want really a lot of glow go in with a cream um, highlighter and then go on top of it with a powder so that's what we're gonna do Chelsea I completely blame you for my Chanel obsession I'm sorry <laughs> I do have some things I really enjoy from Chanel you know it's easy to get obsessed with beautiful things isn't it so this is the pixie glow booster in the shade Pink Pearl. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of on my Beauty Blender like that. And then I just wanna hit like the tops of my cheekbones like that. And then I'll just take whatever's left kinda in like this V motion. Like that. You love the Chanel cream and the hula stick. I don't have the hula stick. I don't love hula bronzer, honestly. I don't like the tone on my skin. You're 47, so you love the cream then going over the with powder. Yes. Have I tried the new eyeshadows? They are amazing. Cream and powder. I have not been to the Chanel counter yet. My friend has. She went and swatched them all. I haven't had a chance to go and play with very many new things yet. I will. I'll get there. I'm actually 
planning on maybe going, I should have lost my teeth before I started this video, going to um, the mall maybe next weekend by myself and just kind of checking out some things. All right, so now we have done all of the face stuff, so I'm now going to set my face lightly, not heavy. I don't want a lot of powder, just a little bit. And I've been going strong with the Chanel loose powder. Really love this stuff. And I'm actually going to take that same beauty blender and dip it in here. Oh, you got to go to work. Well, have a good day at work, Valerie. And that was lovely to see you here. So glad you could join. So we're just going to go all over like this. And because it's kind of damp, it really sets into your face nicely because the beauty blender is a little bit slightly dampened. It's raining in Dallas. You know, I think the rain is heading this. Is it heading? Well, they said it's supposed to head this direction here in San Antonio. So maybe you're getting it first. I don't mind a rainy Sunday, quite honestly. I mean, there's not a lot of things on TV, but there's always something to watch on Netflix. All right, now I'm really quickly going to do, actually, you know what, I'm going to use that blush today. I'm going to do my brows, and I do the um, the brow definer right now, and I do the shade medium brown. Actually, you know what I've been using, which I didn't understand at first, so it had been sitting in my drawer, but this is the Brow Vo Conditioning Primer from Benefit, and so you're supposed to put this in your brows, and it, like, plumps them up or something and preps them. I think, or maybe it helps them grow. I don't know. Either way, I've been kind of just playing with this a little bit. I don't have a lot of natural, I mean, I have natural brows, but they're not like insanely thick or anything like that, okay? So now that has to dry a little bit. And I guess while that's drying, we could do, let's do a little bit of blush while that's drying. I'm gonna just throw on the Chanel Cheeky. Do they still make these? These cream? Cream to powder situations? I'm not sure. But I'm just going to do a little bit because my actual blush I want to use, I'm going to put over. This will just be another one of those little bases. I actually find if you put like a cream blush underneath the powder, your blush really stays all day and it looks very flawless because if like the powder you put on it isn't as good and it just like fades throughout the day then you still have that color underneath you know sunny in Car Toronto what are you watching you watching handmaid's tale love shameless in every Real Housewives, yeah, I know, I watch that too. Um, I'm watching Sons of Anarchy right now on Shameless, I mean on Netflix. But House of Cards comes out Tuesday, so that's going to be my next thing. And then in June is Orange is the New Blacks next season. And then in July is Game of Thrones. And so my TV watching schedule is all set up. I don't know, I should be reading or doing something else. Probably more productive and benefiting myself, but... Mm. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to do the medium brown. Yeah, so, and I almost feel like that conditioning primer makes your brows, like, thicker and fuller, too. So when I go in with this product, I don't know, I feel like it just makes them really fluffy or something. Suns is so good, and it's not, it's definitely not torture to watch Charlie Hunnam. Yeah. I guess his new movie's coming out, uh, King Arthur. Probably gonna be really good. I'll have to watch that. The only thing about that primer is that I almost feel like... I don't know. It can make him look kind of... I don't know what the word is. What's the word? I wonder if that light behind me is too bright. I don't know. Is the Chanel setting powder your favorite? I've been looking for a new powder. I didn't like the Laura Mercier A one that everyone loves. Okay, I think that the Laura Mercier one is drying. And I know everyone loves it, but you got to consider the skin types of everyone that's saying they love it. 
Like, are they oily? Are they combo? I felt it was kind of drying. And I have normal skin. I mean, I can get a little bit dewy in my T-zone, but nothing crazy. I like the Chanel. I really do. You get a lot of product. That's not it. This is it. You get one full, one ounce. Maybe that's not any more than anything else, but I like it. It has the softest, like, reflective little particles to it. Not anything super noticeable, but really pretty on the skin. And I don't think it's drying. Like, if I set my whole face with some of my other powders that I have, I will look dry and cakey throughout the day. This just melds into my skin. And if anything, I just get a really pretty dewy glow. But I get the setting effect, you know? Like, locks in that foundation and stuff. Okay, then I like to just go in a little bit and put in a little bit of color with the chocolate shade. Because the medium brown's a little bit ashy. So... Use the Mally Pore Defender even to set underneath my eyes. The Pore Defender. Is, isn't that that silicone powder stuff? I used to have that. I would use that to blot. But I'm thinking about picking up the DD Blender Blotterazzi for summer here. I don't normally have to blot, but when it's really humid out and hot, just by nature, you know, you just get a lot it's that borderline dewy. Are you dewy or are you just straight up greasy? You know that. And then if I have to question it, then I'm just like, all right, we need to blot because I, <laughs> I mean, I want to look like JLo, but if I'm not quite there, not quite looking like JLo, then we need to like fix it. All right, for my eyes, I want to do something just really bronzy and simple. And I'm going to take a, mm, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye. I cannot wait for the glitter version of this. Or not glitter, but like the sparkly version of this that's coming out. I cannot wait. So I'm going to take this and take one of these warmer shades here. Oh my gosh, my brushes are filthy. Oh, I need to wash them. I don't want to. So I just wipe them off on this thing. This is a 224 from MAC, and I'm going to start with just this cream one here. Just something plain. Stick in the crease. Start it off. Does the Mally cause flashback? I don't know. Oh, okay, so you felt that the Laura Mercier was drying too. See? I wasn't crazy. You know, you got to test things out for yourself, but I guess when you're watching reviews and you're considering people's opinions... Um, you have to think about what kind of skin do they have. Because taking a lot of, like, recommendations from someone who's oily and you're, like, dry, well, that then it's not going to work for you, you know? Turning 43. I've noticed some difference just since hitting my early 30s here in my skin. I need a powder to set under eyes that is good for traveling and doesn't cause flashback. My under eyes are dry. Um, I also use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I don't know if that causes flashback or not, but it's in a smaller container. And it has little pretty, um, where is it here? Little pretty particles. Oh, this is what you should try. Have you tried the By Terry? Um, what is your name? Little bit of this and that. Um, because this, this is a hydrating under eye setting powder. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is, um, basically water. And it, you can feel it when you touch it with just your finger. It feels like it's suspended in water. Definitely recommend this. This also blurs underneath your eyes. And, um, then, hi in Iowa! I've been to Iowa lots of times. Um, and then the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, it, I've had this forever. Oh my gosh, it's seriously, I swear the more you use it, it just keeps refilling. Because I've had this for probably almost three years, and it's pretty much still full. It's crazy. So, these are two really good options. Okay, Jennifer, so these are two things I would recommend trying. Um, I don't have super dry under eyes, but I don't know, I got age going on underneath here, you know, and I feel like when I smile, there's a lot of fine lines and stuff, and um, YouTube and lights, like if I were to turn off my ring light, 
then you wouldn't see me. It'd be too dark, but you can see. I mean, I look, I think I look age appropriate, you know, but I'm also, I mean, I'm not going to lie and say, oh, there's no light. No, there is, you know, and some things can make them worse. So I try those two things. So, super random. Are you done having kids? Yes. <laughs> 40, let's see, here you are. 40 skincare, cream, serums, and light powder. Yeah. Crystal powder is really good for under eyes, Megan says. I... What happened to mine? I think I finally got rid of it because I had it for some. Okay, I gotta do my eyes. <laughs> We're gonna be here all day. Maybe you're okay with that. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna finish creating a... I don't know. Just a little bit of an eye socket contour here, I guess. There we go. I'm trying to think what my mom, I don't think my mom sets her concealer actually, if she even remembers to use it, <laughs> because she gets a lot, of, like it just ages her. And I say, if you're going to do it, I, this is the two things I've used at her, um, the by Terry, I take the smallest amount because really you just want to set it so that it doesn't like move kind of thing. All right. So now I'm going to do, um, something a little deeper. So we can take a smaller brush and let's do, um, this, the E45, it's kind of tapered. None of my brushes look perfect. I see all these people, they're doing tutorials and their brushes are all perfect. Look at this. I got like hairs going all over the place. <sighs> Tell you what, I am here representing real people. If there ever were a person to do it, it may be me. Um, now we're going to take this little peachy shade because I love a good peach in my uh, crease. I think it's just so brightening and so pretty. Yes, that is pretty. Do you guys have any good wine recommendations? I've had a couple bottles this weekend, not myself, um, but a couple different things I tried this weekend. I tried a Paso, Roble, or Paso Robles Cabernet and a Napa Valley. I believe it was a Cabernet as well from California. Had a French wine that was fantastic. Clinique translucent setting powder. Never tried that. There's another option. What would be your biggest tip for women starting out beauty blogging or starting a channel? Just be yourself. Honestly. It's not an easy road to travel, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been doing this... Um, Three and a half years consistently and it I don't know there's times where I just want to quit honestly all the, <laughs> and lately it's been more often than not just like oh but I really like the camaraderie like with you guys it's all about you guys um I like the interaction I like doing stuff like this where we can just chat because it's fun. This peach color is bomb. I would say be yourself. You don't need to have the fanciest setup. Because I personally, this is me, I watch people because I like them. I don't watch the super huge, like I don't watch a lot of big YouTubers with like their fancy setup where it looks like I'm watching a television show. That's, I mean, that doesn't, I don't feel like that represents the average person. Like, it, oh, cameras are expensive and lighting and buying product and editing equipment and just like the list goes on and on you know and if you be your, people like and can tell when you're not being authentic you know and everybody is different so why try to be like somebody else i don't you know i could go on a little bit and expound on that but i would say just be who you are because nobody else can do you like you can do you and you have your own experience to pull from, your own opinions, your own skin, your own hair, your own everything, you know. And people will relate to you. There is, There are people out there who will relate and understand you, you know. For me, I know that I have a lot of subscribers who are also military wives. We can relate on that level, what it's like to be running the show while your husband's gone, you know. Okay, this is a gorgeous peach shade. 
Be glad you're not in DFW. It's been raining all day and supposed to rain all week here. It's supposed to rain here, too. We love you. Do not quit. <laughs> well, don't be afraid. If it's what you really like to do, then do it. Who cares? All right, now I want to do a little, um, <clears throat> just a little deepening up right here. And so I'm going to take that same brush because it's already in my hand. <clears throat> I'm going to dip into this reddish brown color. And... Just kind of keep it out here in my outer V. I've learned a lot and made a lot of mistakes here in front of you guys. Prior to starting a channel, I had never done eyeshadow. So still for me to do this makes me uneasy because I've learned from watching other people. But really, the only way to learn how to do eyeshadow is to physically do it. You can watch tutorials till the cows come home, but it's not going to make your hand move and blend, you know, you have to actually do it. Oh, I put a lot of stuff out there that I really want to take down, but then I tell myself, leave it up. You can see where you've come from. You know, you're imperfect. It's okay. It's really, it's really, um... Kind of brings you to that vulnerable place, which it's hard to be vulnerable, especially on a public platform. But if it encourages and helps somebody else out, Chelsea, just do it, you know. I forgot how good this palette is, gee whiz. So you get too many eyeshadows. I was looking at Ulta's app today, and they have Anastasia single shadows for half off. I'm like, okay, Chelsea, you don't need more browns. They're only six dollars, you know, that temptation. <laughs> oh, hi, Sheila. You agree about huge YouTubers, not real life. The average woman can't relate to that. Honestly, it's way too much for me to enjoy. If you quit, we'll, f we we'll find you. <laughs> yeah, you probably will. You'll run into me shopping and be like, I haven't seen a video. <laughs> I won't quit. I just, you know, I'll be honest, I get discouraged. I really do. Because I feel like the people I've I've been watching even some of the smaller ones they've grown and they've you know updated their equipment and they have their own separate rooms and then I also have to say Chelsea do they have children a lot of them don't or they do and they're just they're not you they're not living the same life you are so just you can't compare yourself and for me that is a, um, something I struggle with a lot Put out another insecurity out there um, I struggle with comparing myself to others I always kind of have you read, it's it's not a good route to go down if you're gonna do that that is for sure it won't make you happy I'm just taking the matte this kind of brighter white color it's actually a really nice brow bone highlight that is a nice one okay and then um, I think I want to put a little bit something bright on my lid and I'm gonna do that with this Oh, a wine recommendation. I was like, who's Pasquale? <laughs> um, a Malbec from Argentina, under $10. Okay, I will remember there. Hi, Jana. Welcome. I wasn't sure who all would be able to show up because I didn't really post on I, I This was a really last minute decision. I pulled out my makeup. I'm like, I want to do a live video and I didn't tell anybody. No, nope, I didn't tell people on Snapchat. I didn't tweet about it, which I think I have like six tweet, you know, people who follow me on Twitter, so that doesn't matter. And I didn't post about it on Instagram, and so it'll be up. This will be up though, so if you miss the beginning, you can go back and watch it later. So, hi Kaylee. Um, this is the uh, old L'Oreal iced latte. Oldie but a goodie. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spray this bad boy with Fix Plus because it will make it super metallic. This is the Chikihoto GSN. Is this the 9? Yes, I love this brush. This is a must have for me. And I get mine off of Beautylish. I love it for my lid. It's not one of those thicker lid brushes. I like it to be a little thinner like this because it can really get into my. I have a deep crease. 
so I really need to be able to get into that socket and if the brush is too thick it hits my brow like my bone here before I can get into you know the deep parts here so I really enjoy this brush this is a really pretty eyeshadow do a little more more is more right at least with metallic shadow <laughs> oh it's so pretty yes you could use this eyeshadow as a face highlighter maybe a little I don't know maybe be too chunky oh yeah you know I probably could have dug out my ring light and put that here so you guys could see better but kind of wanted to keep it really low-key and low-maintenance like the good old days of YouTube this is the old YouTube where you get out your um, computer with a webcam and you hit play and that's how it used to be and now you have to have a two thousand dollar camera a three thousand dollar lens you know another couple thousand dollars in lighting you know gotta buy an iMac and then you gotta have the which that's expensive and then the editing program and you add in all the makeup <laughs> it's just like before you know you got 20 grand invested into this channel just in stuff so, I don't know. I, I don't mind watching really poor quality videos if the person entertains me, you know? I mean, obviously it's nice to see swatches and stuff in good quality, but I don't know. I don't like how I feel the pressure to have to have such a perfect thing when I thought YouTube was meant, started out as like an imperfect people making imperfect videos because it was totally relatable and accessible and whatever okay off my soapbox moving on to um a little bit of liner a little bit i haven't been doing like as much liner up top here because i like how the fresh eyed uh look without having you know such a harsh liner and i'm gonna just take a mac uh, I call this is the shade Costa Riche, which needs to be sharpened. It's like a bronzy amber color. It's one of my favorite um, eyeliners to wear. It makes my blue eyes really blue. And more is more with metallic. I agree. Oh, uh, Chelsea and Jen in one spot. Okay, I'm going to take just this on my lower lash line or waterline, and then my upper waterline, and that's it. Just like so and I'm not gonna do any um, shadow on my lower lash line either if you have really small eyes this is gonna make them even smaller because it like closes them in I mean if you like the, that look then by all means do it but just a little tip now I'm gonna put on some false lashes this could hopefully this doesn't take too long because normally I edit this out in videos because it makes me nervous to know people are watching me. Okay, you can see fine. No ring light needed. I'm supposed to be making lunch. Well, my husband can starve a little longer. I'm, I'm going to make lunch here too. I'm almost done, Sheila. Not too much longer. We got to do a little, little more highlight and a lip and a little bit more blush. And then I'll let you guys go about your day. Well, I guess you could leave anytime you want. I'm not holding you hostage. Okay, this is. Um, these are the House of Lashes Siren Lashes. Okay, because I kind of moved myself, I really like these lashes. They really give you a doll light effect. Glue. Duo glue. This is the clear. I'm not doing liner up top, so I want to have clear glue and not black glue. Because the black, when it dries, will show. So I like to do... A little bead on the end, on each end and then just kind of drag it lightly across the whole lash now you're gonna want to let this dry for about 30 seconds so while that's drying <gasps> I just got it everywhere classic I'm gonna take a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury's blush in the shade climb the climax it's very bronzy and then I'm gonna pop peach in the center so I'm gonna do my uh, Beloved brush. I love this for blush. Wayne Goss number 14. 
And for some reason, I always do this when I do blush. <laughs> And I mean, because it's kind of bronzy, you can just, you know, go crazy with it. <laughs> Bring it everywhere. It's just a really pretty bronzy blush. I'm wondering this whole time if this light was too bright. Is that better or is that worse? I don't know. Why does it look like my camera is fuzzy too? Who knows, Chelsea? I just... You don't like the new... T yeah, I agree. The new YouTube is... Yeah. Ma Love MAC Bronzer Give Me Sun and Melba. Melba is really pretty. In fact, the center of this blush is basically like Melba. All right. So I turn that light up. Is it worse? I guess I'll, I need to note that for the future. All right now, I'm going to throw these lashes on real quick. I need to probably move my. Oh, I didn't, I didn't do this. I also like to take a little of this, curl my lashes a little bit. Helps a little bit there. Can you see me though? This is a must have for me to apply eyelashes is a eyelash uh, tool. It really helps me secure the ends down. You could use a tweezer but those are sharp and I probably wouldn't recommend doing that near your eye, you know? Okay. See, and then this sometimes happens, though, because the glue's tacky. It also makes me nervous to apply eyelashes still, because you could have a really good eyeshadow day, and then you try to apply these, and you jack your eyeshadow all up, and then it just makes you want to run and cry and hide. You feel like you've just absolutely wasted your life. I wish you were closer. <sighs> How does that look? Why does this look like, maybe it's just the camera how it looks, I don't know. So there's one eyelash. I'm going to take a little bit of mascara after this dries and do, coat my natural lashes a little bit to darken them up because they're lighter than this false lash. So we're going to do this here and here. I don't know how to get closer to this camera because it's a laptop and I wish I could show you. But like, I'm a literally a foot away from the camera. So, we'll have to figure that out for next time. Okay, so while that's, this one's drying, I'm just going to make sure this is all nice and blended. And we'll go in with a little highlighter. I'm going to take Becca Champagne Pop. It's probably a better way to do this. I just don't want to set the lash down because I don't want to, this is Pearl. I'm going to do pearl and champagne pop because I want to be really glowy today. It's champagne pop. And I can see a hair in my vision somewhere here. And here's the Wingus Fan Rush. I really like the fan brush also from him to blend out my highlighter. Ooh, it's pretty. And why not do the whole nose dip thing? I usually don't. I do like to put a little bit right here. Looking at the newer palettes from who? Let's see. Oh, we're talking about MAC here. I better put this eyelash on.
Let's see, where's my tool? Oh, I had already cut these two because I've already worn them once, so... Do I have to cut these? I think I have to cut these siren ones a little bit. Most... Come on, Jilzy. Most eyelashes are too long for me, so I always have to trim them, like, a lot. Oh, good lord, this one is giving me issues. It's actually best to just, like, pick a mirror up and do it straight on. The only thing with the webcam camera is you cannot see how stunning the colors are, I don't think, as well. But when I'm done here, I'll take an Instagram photo, or I'll take a photo, and I'll post it in Instagram so you can see. I'm going to take a little bit of pearl now, which is a little light, like white, basically. But it's a nice mixer for highlighters because you can lighten stuff up that's too dark. And I'm just going to pop that in the front here. Alrighty, now, lips. I want to do a, a glossy bronzy color. So I had chapstick on, so we're going to take that off. Um, this is Lancome Ideal. And it's kind of dull. I love this liner. It's a great color. So with liner, you have the option of like just lining your lips or you could fill the whole thing in and put gloss over it. I'm gonna just line it for now. Is that uneven? Like that. Where's my glass of wine? <laughs> thought about it but I started kind of before noon so I didn't want to like freak people out um my husband and I had um a yummy wine yesterday like this it's been a, you know my husband had this week off so we've been sampling quite a bit of wine this week and um last night we had a lovely one I am gonna go have some wine actually um we're gonna go over to my friend's house okay so let me just fix my hair because I suddenly just noticed it was kind of wonky this whole time what's new and I'm gonna use this I don't know oh that's what I was gonna do Never mind, hold up. I have to like cover up the spaces. This mascara is bomb. Maybelline Lash Sensa Sensational is phenomenal. And I'm gonna coat my natural lashes, which I should have done in the first place, but I forgot. It's just gonna darken them. Your skin looks glowing, thank you. Well, my skin naturally is doing really well right now because I have a good routine going on, which those videos are coming up this week. Um, I'm PMSing right now, so it's not exactly super clear, but that's okay too because that happens. Hormones will do that to you. But when you take care of your skin with good routine, you know, and drink water and all that good jazz, which this weekend I've been replacing my water intake with wine intake. <laughs> but then you find some good products, you know? It's a combination of all three things. I gotta do my lower lash line too, guys. And this is where you lose everybody that was watching you because you're putting on your mascara and you're not talking. <laughs> okay. It's like you're trying to focus on doing your makeup and not knocking all this stuff over and looking at comments at the same time. Kaylee is asking what I'm diffusing. Right now I don't have anything in my, my diffuser, but I've been wearing at nighttime sleepy eyes. And then like a drop or two of um, vetiver, which knocks me out. 
into a very deep sleep. Okay, that LUT planner looks amazing, everyone but me. Well, maybe it's, I don't know. Oh, this is sexy. This is a Dior Brilliant. Rouge Bill, Dior Brilliant in the shade Pan Am. Do they make this anymore? I don't know. I like it. Use balm. Yeah, I always use balm first. Yeah, vetiver. Sleepy eyes I put on my kids, but it smells so good. Now, vetiver is a thicker oil, just so you know. You're going to have to warm it up in your pocket or hold on to about five minutes. It's just the natural consistency of that because it's from the um, bark of a tree and it's more sappy. So it's a thicker oil, so you're going to have to warm it up because it's not just going to drop out of the bottle like all the other oils do. Why is that eyelash not sticking to my eye? Oh, first world problems there. All right. I think that's it. Sheila, try using Laura Mercier. It's so good and creamy. What are we talking about? See, so yeah, it's hard for me to read and do this at the same time. But this was fun, guys. I'm glad you guys got to join me. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you like this, give this um, video ooh, geez, a thumbs up. And we could try doing some more, inst or not Instagram Live, but YouTube Live. Get ready with me. It's like this. Especially on the weekends when I have another adult in the house and I can sit down and do this, you know? Yes, warm up vetiver, definitely. It smells really good. It's one of my favorite notes in perfume is vetiver, actually. Um, which is, it's a deep, woodsy, mm, it smells like a man. <laughs> it's really yummy. So, okay guys, well this was fun. Now I have to figure out how to uh, turn this off. This could be just as hilarious as me trying to figure out, is this on in the beginning? So, if you missed the beginning, it'll, this will be up on my channel, and then you can, you know, watch it at your leisure or whatever, if there's anything. Um, everything I use, I'm going to um, link in the description box for you. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I have a video going up tomorrow morning, Monday morning, so... Is it in the morning? I don't know if it's in the morning. I could be lying. It might be tomorrow afternoon. Or evening. I don't know. There's a video going up tomorrow. That's all I know. So, oh, and one more thing. Uh, go follow me on... I should have said this in the beginning. Oh, I'm terrible at promoting myself. Um, <laughs> go follow me on um, We Love Makeup or we love dot makeup. Um, the link is in the description box of my videos as well as on Instagram. And it's a new beauty platform. L'Oreal just purchased it and they're trying to like tell us to, you know, share it with you guys so that you can come over there. It's all of my tweets, my Instagram, and my YouTube videos in one spot. And so you can watch them there if you don't want to go to YouTube or whatever. It's, it's just kind of a neat, new thing. And you can find tutorials and all kinds of stuff over there. There's a lot of there's a lot of popular, you know, much more popular YouTubers than me over there as well. So, just wanted to share that with you guys. So, I love you. Thank you so much for joining me. And now, give me 15 minutes to figure out how in the world to turn this off. Oh, my goodness. I do not enjoy technology. Oh, there we go. I think. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Have a great rest of your day. We'll chat soon. Bye, guys.